So some of you guys may be wondering why I'm uploading so late. I was at the fair and they had an old school game tent and I got a Game Boy for like 20 bucks and Battletoads. So today is a good day. Hey guys, John here again today, and I have an awesome UU slash NU battle with my epic Trick Room team. Now, some of you guys were all like, oh, you know, e even though the kid let me use Rhyperior last time, you're like, that's kind of cheap, which I understand. So I wanted to show you how epic this uh, team really could be when it was at its full potential. So, yeah, um, this was a battle with a guy named Sino, I believe. He was, uh, he was a pretty good battler, and I had an epic comeback here. And yeah, some of you may be wondering why I uploaded so late. I was at the fair today. But anyways, getting to the battle. I lead off with Bennett, and he leads off with his Dusclops. Now, this is not a very good matchup because I know he's going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. And that breaks my sash, and that just sucks. So I pretty much just want myself to die. And uh, he's not going to let me because he's just going to keep on night shading, which is annoying as hell. So, yeah, he's just going to burn turns of Trick Room. He's actually slower than me, so Trick Room is working against me right now. I don't know how, but now he decides to go out to his uh, Azumaro, which is like, I don't know, he just wants to set up pretty much here. And I'm like, please, just kill me. But no, unfortunately, he's not the choice banded Azumaro. He's the sub-focus punch, so I decided to taunt him because at least Bennett will have had a purpose, which is, you know giving, uh, making it so he can't set up any more substitutes. So now I'm going to go out to Octillery, my awesome Trick Room Sweeper, but the only problem here is there's no Trick Room up. So he's going to get off a Focus Punch, and I'm going to Energy Ball to break his sub. And this shows why Octillery sucks when there's no Trick Room up. Because right here, he's going to Focus Punch me, and he's going to kill me. Well, no, he's not going to kill me. He's going to bring me down to really, really low health, and then he's faster than me, and a Waterfall is going to take me out. Darn you, Azumarill, and your huge power. Man, Azumarill is actually really underrated. Maybe I'll use one sometime. But anyways, yeah, Artillery faints, and I'm going to have to go out to my Dusclops. Now, I'm trying to set up the Trick Room and all here, because I know he can't set up subs, and I know I can take a Waterfall. Look at how beastly I take it. So, yeah, I'm going to Trick Room, and... I don't know. I think Dusclops really changed the whole game back in Gen 3. It's a shame they had to give him a stupid evolution, because Dusclops looks so cooler. I mean, he was the first ghost to have, like, bulky stats, you know? You think about it before, it was, like, Miss Magius and, you know, Gengar and stuff. But this guy's pretty strong. So anyways, I'm going to Will-O-Wisp him, because I have the Trick Room up, which is really going to hurt him. Because now, he's pretty much just going to have to do as much damage to Dusclops as he can before he dies. But he always runs the... Uh, he doesn't run the risk of being pain splitted actually because he's lower health than me. But he's pretty much just gonna die after I break his sub. He can't set up another one, and a shadow punch will be enough to take him out. I don't even think I need a third shadow punch here. But yeah, so that was a pretty good plan on my part, getting rid of that Azumarill. Because with that priority Aqua Jet and the sub focus punch, that would have done a lot of damage to my team. So, you know, this is a good plan on Dusclops part here. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna yeah, he dies from Shadow Punch next turn, but he did burn. Oh, no, he tries to Aqua Jet, but at half to attack, that's not going to do crap. Uh, Shadow Punch is going to try and kill him off, and yeah, so just kind of ignore that message. I tried to record this like five different times without that, and my friend, I'm over at my friend's house, and the Wi-Fi is being all screwy, so just ignore that window and pretend it never happened. I love to bring you guys uh, quality videos, and stuff like that always pisses me off, but I don't think you guys will mind too much. So he goes up to Ludicolo who now I figure out has Hydro Pump instead of Surf, which actually is more crucial than most people think. Now he goes back out to this thing, and I get off the Thunder Wave, which is huge, because now I don't have to set up Trick Room, and this guy will always be slower than me. So I go for the Rock Slide, and wow, that sucked. It did pathetic damage. So yeah, I think I'm going to replace Rock Slide with Bite on this guy. But anyways... So I go out to Lunatone, because I know I can set up, uh, I don't even have to set up Trick Room. But he goes out to this, and I'm like, oh crap, Aqua Jet, Waterfall, that's all coming. But he thinks that he can just freely set up, because he thinks that there's nothing I can do. But I get off the Trick Room, which is key, because now I'm faster than him. I'm going to Psychic him, and he thinks he can take this pretty well, but it actually does way more than half. I mean, look at that. 
and now he's going to bulk up. He was getting kind of greedy. Now, he must not have had Aqua Jet because I Psychic him for the kill. So that was crucial there. I think, yeah, uh, sweeping, um, whatever those things are called. Sorry, I'm blanking here. It's late. But anyways, yeah, I remember I used to run one of those on my team, and they really can't do crap with priority. They rely on being faster than things with agility and crap, but whatever. So uh, he goes out to... A uh, Ursa Ring, and he knows his only chance at this point is to set up, and good thing I got that thing out of there, because with the burn, which gives his attack a huge boost, Facade, which is a base 120 stab attack, and a sword stance, he's like almost as good as Heracross right there. And now I'm going to Psychic his Ghost, which doesn't do too much, and he's going to Willow with me, which actually won't matter, because I'm using special attacks. And Lunatone's pretty much done at this point. I mean, he doesn't really need to do much else. Uh, killing off this Dusclops would be nice, but I don't really care. So, I'm going to kill off the Dusclops. Uh, he's going to Nightshade. Does good 100 damage, but this is what I don't like about Nightshade. And the same thing with Seismic Toss. Is if you get someone out there that can, you know, has even enough HP. I mean, I only have 281, but I mean, look at this. I'm, I'm going to be able to... This is the difference between him winning and him losing. If he had Shadow Sneak or Shadow Punch, I would have died. So that's pretty good for me that he had the Nightshade. I'm going to kill him off with Psychic. And Lunatone is just a beast in Trick Room. So, I mean, this is... The last video, I didn't really get to show him. But now I do. So he's going to kill me off, though. But Lunatone served his purpose. And really gave me the comeback here. And so, uh... Now, I'm going to go out to my Dunsparce again. And I'm burned, so I know I can't do crap. But he sets up the Rain Dance. Because I know his only chance at this point is to try and sweep. So I'm going to paralyze him with Thunder Wave, which cripples him completely. And now he's just kind of starting to get frustrated, I guess, because he had a huge advantage at the beginning of the battle, but now he's at a huge disadvantage. So I'm going to go... I'm, he's still faster than me, though, because Dunsparce's speed is pathetic. But I'm going to get off the headbutt, and now he's seeing how much damage it does. So one of two things happens here. It was either out of frustration, A, or B, a misclick, because here he decides to go for the explosion, and I don't know why he would do that, because I didn't really have much else that could have handled him that well. But I guess he took down my Dunsparce, which was pretty much done at that point, because I was burned. So, whatever. Uh, Rain Dance isn't really going to help the rest of his team anyways. He goes out to... Oh, no, wait, it does help out Ludicolo, my bad. But now here comes Rhyperior. He goes for the Hydro Pump. He misses. That was the key moment in the battle. I mean, if it weren't for that... He could have won. I don't know if I would have survived it. So, good game, Sino. Uh, epic battle. Uh, this just goes to show that my Trick Room team is not fail. I mean, it can beat UU teams also. So, anyways, yeah, that was a great battle. Kind of trying to make up for, you know, the crappy battle I posted yesterday. Sorry, I was just really tired. So, uh, yeah, my question of the day-to-day -day is what is your favorite old-school game? Aside from, like, Pokemon Red or something. Mine would have to be Battletoads. So, anyways, you know, rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Peace.